Caleb, NBA seasons can be such wild rides, and it can be the best of the best and the rough of the roughest. There was a point in midseason where, I mean, your upward curve was just pointing to the stars, and then injuries got in the way, then rotations were changed a little. Mm -hmm. Sort of what's your takeaway of the season that you had, and especially, honestly, since you are going into free agency? Uh, I think it was a big season. Obviously, uh, like you said, is having to deal with a lot in such a short amount of time in one season. It's been up and down, and whether it's rotations or injuries or whatever, I just think that uh, it's really helped progress my mindset my, and my mentality going into it, just to be able to adjust to, uh, to everything and and being okay with it. And uh, accept that's part of my role. I, that's what that's the you know that's the role I accepted when I came here and, and when I got signed to know that that was going to be my position and things were going to fluctuate and I had to be okay with it and adjust on the fly. So um, I think that's only going to make me a better player and make, only make me mentally stronger. So um, I, does, I don't think it does anything but help me. From last summer where, you know, you didn't know if you were going to get picked up, you didn't know if you were going to get signed and, and you come here and things overall went really well. Do, do you feel like you've kind of figured out not only what your game is and what your role is, but you, in some ways your place in the league yeah. this year? Uh, I definitely think so. I think it just shed light on it, man. I think it's uh tip of the iceberg type of thing with me where uh, I feel like I, I could be one of those guys that fluctuates where it's kind of whatever a team needs from me. If you need a guy to come off the bench and bring energy and do that stuff, I can do that. I feel like I can step in and, and start. Like It doesn't matter like what the role or – what a team needs from me, I feel like I could fill that void. Um, and I, obviously, like you said, it's just I think my game expanded shooting wise, being a little, being more efficient and being more consistent, and still learning how to do that year in and year out. And uh, um, I just think that I, I, I took big steps, and I think I'm only going to take even larger steps um, after this going forward. So. Caleb, with how you play this year, obviously there's going to be a market for you in free agency. It's possible for two things to be true. You can want to return here, but you can also be curious to see what you can get on the open market. Is that the case for you where both of those things are true? Uh, obviously, being open-minded, but I want to be here. You know what I mean? I, I've got better here, and I believe I'll get better here. Um, um, obviously, I want the situation to, I just, you know, just want a great situation no matter what. But um, I just think that how close I've gotten with the guys and the people here and how much better and more confident I've, I've been here. Um, and I feel like my, my team and my staff believes in me and believes that I'm going to get better here. So um, uh, obviously being open-minded to going to free agency, like, you know, you have to, have to be, and it's my first uh, experience with that. But um I want to be here. I love being here. I want to be here. So uh, that's all I got on my mind right now until, <laughs> until you know, I, I see what happens or whatever type of experience I'm going to get in free agency. So, um, yeah. And, and Caleb, um, if you want to be here, and, and now you've seen kind of how you fit here over here, you mentioned working on your shooting and, and coming up this year. Do you see, like, t to become the guy who's always in the rotation, there's never any question, What what is the next step? Is it consistency with mm -hmm. the three-point shot or are there other things that you want to add yeah uh, I just think it has to do a little bit of obviously like you said just being more consistent more efficient uh, but obviously it just it, it takes time too. just like even a year like this it, it just puts experience under my belt and that just gives me another year and this is my first full season with with the guys and, and with the staff so I think that helps me for a time like maybe next year too if we get in similar situations that uh, you know, that's just me earning trust by being here, too. You know what I mean? So um, definitely uh, being more efficient and uh, productive in those minutes. But uh, at the same time, I just think it just comes with the experience and, and being trusted the longer that I'm here. So, Caleb, having uh, along the line back here. Oh, shoot. Right. I'm like, I'm right. hey. Hey, along the lines of what you were speaking about, like wanting to be here and wanting to stay here and, and how you like it. Until you see it, until you see what the heat culture everyone talks about is, how do you explain it that, you know, you, you, your, your confidence went up, your, your, your belief in yourself went up, all that stuff. How do you explain that? How do you conceptualize that to others who might not be in it? Yeah, uh, it's tough, man, because it, like you said, like if you never experienced that, it's hard for some people to, 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 to get it, you know what I mean, to, uh, if, you don't, if you're not seeing it firsthand. But the best way I can kind of explain it is, 
uh, where you just feel like you fit. You know what I mean? That's the only way you can really explain it. So if someone's somewhere where they aren't meshing well or they're not, you know, trying to figure it out, like, they won't get it. Yeah, but I feel like once I got here, I kind of knew pretty quickly, like, these are my type of guys mentally and the work ethic and to, to every aspect of, you know, everything uh, in this organization. I feel like this is definitely my uh, place for me. This is the place for me. And that's what it's felt like since I've gotten here. So, um and that's why I feel like I made such a big jump so quickly while I've been here, and, I, and why I think that I can I'll, I'll make even bigger jumps while I'm here. So um, that's the only way. I, it's hard to explain to some people if they're not experiencing that. Caleb, you talked about some of the stuff you want to improve on, but being your first playoff run and being a totally, I guess, different game in the postseason. Is there any specific skill set that changed from the regular season to the playoffs that you're like, that's the one thing I have to focus on to beat in that time of year? Yeah, uh, obviously, I think that the game slowed down a little bit. But, um, you know, that's why it's so important for a guy like PJ and the role he plays where he's kind of a tweener. Someone like me, or I'm in a similar role with him and just learning how to tweak your game to adjust to whoever you're playing. You know what I mean? So um, um, it slowed down a little bit. So to be able to, to be a playmaker in the way he playmakes, whether it's being a screener or a roller and being a playmaker off the roll or – or popping more like kind of playing like a big, but even though I'm I'm a, I'm a guard, you know what I mean, or, or a wing or whatever. So um, just to be able to – I just think that versatility is huge in the playoffs. That's why you see guys like Draymond is so effective, you know what I mean, and he's so – you know, he makes their team go. And he's – guys – besides obviously them having a lot of great shooters, but um, he play makes and he plays kind of like that big position, but he can guard multiple positions and he can play make uh, while he's being guarded by big. So – uh, just to be able to kind of take something like that away from uh, and maybe implement that here like PJ does is, you know, something, an, another step that I'll be able to take to expand my game. All right, Caleb, thank you. Appreciate y'all. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Jay. No problem.